This video is going to review how to compare and order decimals, which means the learning target is I can compare and order decimals. First, let's take a look at three decimals. They all look the same to start off. However, there is a very big difference between them. This decimal right here is the equivalent of a dime or three tenths. This decimal right here is the equivalent of three pennies or three hundredths. And this, this is the thousandths, something we don't use in money, we use in math and in gas prices. So how do we tell which is bigger? The first thing I want you to look at is how many places there are after the decimal. There are, there is one place here, two places here, and three places here. The more places past the decimal, the smaller the decimal. The second thing we can do is make the decimals balanced. You can add zeros to the right of a decimal after the last number as many as you would like. So I'm going to add zeros so that all three places, all three decimals now have exactly three places after them. Then what I can do is pretend that the decimal isn't here. And I'm going to see which of these numbers is the largest one. Well, 300 is bigger than 30, which is bigger than 3. So that means that the biggest decimal is 300, which is also 3 tenths, th 30 hundredths, or 300 thousandths. Next, we have 3 hundredths, or 30 thousandths. And finally, we have 3 thousandths. By adding those extra zeros, you can more easily tell that the decimals are comparable. Here's another example. We have a whole number and parts of a number or a decimal. This one is 3 and 64 hundredths, which is similar to saying $3.64. Here we have 3 and 604 thousandths. And here we have 3 and 64 thousandths. So the first thing we can do in order to compare these is a, make sure that they are all balanced. Now we would read them equally as 3 and 640 thousandths, 3 and 604 thousandths, and 3 and 64 thousandths. It should be a little simpler to put them in order this way. We know that they are all going to start with a 3 and. That decimal point is your and. Then we look and we try and figure out which is the largest one. Well, 640 is bigger than 604, and both of them are bigger than 64, which means that we have 3 and 640 thousandths, 3 and 604 thousandths, and 3 and 64 thousandths. Again, adding that zero helps us to compare them because they all have the same amount of digits after the zero. Now it's your turn. Take a moment, pausing this video, and trying to Balance each of these decimals so you can put them in order from largest to smallest. Press pause now. Okay, are you ready? Let's first start out by balancing all the decimals. Since we have one decimal that has three places, I want to make sure that all of the decimals have three places. So I will add a thousandths place by adding a zero so that every decimal is now balanced. The next step is to say, okay, which is the largest amount? Well, we have three zeros in the ones place and a four and a two. Four is bigger than two, so my first decimal is four and six hundredths. And then I will cross that off. 
Next, I know two is bigger than the zeros, so I have two and 64, 65, excuse me, hundredths. Now I have to look at my zeros that I added and determine which is biggest. Well, 70 cents is pretty big. 73 cents is bigger, because if we look at the, at the thousands place, this one would be 700, this one would be 730, and this one would be 73. So we know that 0 and 73 hundredths is bigger than 0 and 70 hundredths, and they're both bigger than 0 and 73 thousandths. If it helps you to think of money, think about this. This is $4.06, cents, $2.65, $0.73, cents, $0.70, cents, and this is 7 pennies and 3 extra bits.